I'm here at HP Discover in Madrid with Nigel Edwards, and along with new computer technologies come new computer security threats, right? And right. so, what are you guys doing to address that? So we have two demonstrations here. Uh, one is uh, ILO, where we are building on uh, ILO 5 Silicon Root of Trust, uh, and we have uh, an intrusion detection system. So ILO is doing intrusion detection, uh, and it's continue. What it's doing is continually monitoring the uh, main uh, operate the operating system running on the server. But ILO is a separate chip. It's a chip built by HP. Uh, it's running a uh, secure lockdown operating system. It's not running general purpose uh, applications, uh, but it's sitting there watching. The, and it's sitting there watching the running server, watching for attackers attempting to intrude into your operating system. So providing you continual, continual monitoring of your running server. So that's the first thing. That's building. How, how is that? How is that different than the way ILO works today? So ILO today, uh, what it gives you is uh, uh, assurance. Uh, it gives you Silicon Root of Trust. Gives you uh, 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 assurance that you're booting the correct operating system, the correct firmware. Uh, what we're able to do now is also provide you continual assurance that, that hasn't been interfered. So three weeks after you've booted the server, uh, how do you know that the operating system hasn't been interfered with? This monitor is sitting there watching continually, continually uh, uh, monitoring the uh, kernel's memory, looking for any attempt by an attacker to intrude into your system. So making sure something hasn't been ejected uh, yes. after, since after, the last after we've gone through the, the, the uh, ILO 5 Silicon Rooted Trust, the measured boot or the secured boot, uh, you still, this provides continual ongoing assurance. Because ideally you're not rebooting your server all the time. You're not rebooting your server all the time. Yeah, and even if you are rebooting your server every day or every hour, that's still an hour or a day before, uh, where the attacker has an opportunity. So what's what's the other thing you're? So the other thing, uh, the the other demo that we have is uh, our work uh, within uh, uh, the company and also across industry standards consortia on uh, a component authentication. So the the the, uh, the problem we face today is that components within servers, within switches, within racks are becoming more and more intelligent. They have actually within them significant software stacks, they are becoming in their own right uh, significant uh, attack targets. Uh, so the first rootkit for a network interface card, for example, was demonstrated in 2010. Uh, so uh, what we want to be able to do is to get to the point where when you power up a server, when you power up a switch, we can verify that all the components within that server, within that switch, are genuine, so they're the components that the customer has paid for. That's not uh, that somebody's opened up the box when it's been on the way to the customer and inserted uh, some nef uh, nefarious device that uh, the customer not only didn't pay for, but it's going to attack them and maybe exfiltrate all their data when they turn the server on. So our goal is to get to the point where when you turn the server on, uh, ILO 5, for example, will be able to uh, get a complete authenticated inventory of everything that's in that chassis and furthermore uh, uh, verify the firmware that's installed in those NICs in the, in the storage controller uh, to, uh, to ensure that that firmware is correct, what it's supposed to be. Uh, that, that, that's, that, that network interface card, the storage controller hasn't been compromised. So we, this requires changes across the industry. It requires uh, the industry to agree on uh, standards, standard protocols, standard data objects for components <coughs> to exchange so that they can authenticate themselves uh, when they're installed in a server or when they're installed in a switch.